as part of the program, uh, you need to launch a browser, assuming in this case, let's say Chrome. Okay. After launching the browser, you need to go to Flipkart. Okay. Once you're on Flipkart's homepage, you need to hover on electronics. Can you see the fourth icon from the top? Can you please hover on that? Electronics. Yes. yes. Huh. After hovering on electronics, come down left hand side, third option, cameras and accessories. Hover on that. Okay. Camera and accessories. Huh. After hovering on cameras and accessories, you are supposed to hover on electronics, you are supposed to hover on cameras and accessories. Come down cameras and accessories. Huh. Okay. After hovering on cameras and accessories, you need to click on DSLR and mirrorless, right hand side, second option. Yes. DSLR, click on that. Okay. Click on that. Okay. After clicking DSLR and mirrorless, you can see the Fuji film first camera, the camera ka image, hai, barabar, black color ka image. Hai. Yes. Don't scroll, don't scroll down. You don't scroll down, you don't scroll down. You don't scroll down, you don't scroll down. You can see the camera black image, right? Yes. Fuji film is written. Then the name Fuji Film X series X X S one zero mirrorless camera yes. body only. Yes. And then the price seventy nine thousand nine nine nine. And then F assured Flipkart assured ka tag. Mm -hmm. Yes. Correct. Yes. So starting from the image camera image till F assured. That's an entire first row. Ek row hai wo. Okay. 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 You need to give me the count of images from that row in that row only in that row. So hello guys, let's understand scenario first. So scenario is we have to first launch the flip cart and after that we have to hover on this electronics then we have to hover on this cameras and accessories then we have to click on DSLR and mirrorless okay and after that we have to find out the images for this first row so there are multiple rows this is the first this is second row this is the third so for particular this first row we have to find out how many images are there right so this is the overall scenario let's start our scenario okay so this is simple java and maven project i have created and here i have just added this selenium dependency in pom.xml okay so we'll go step by step i have listed down some steps here so first is uh, we have to set up the web driver and we have to set up java and selenium uh, so i have already made a video on this so i'll provide the link in description box as well as you can find that video in a boy button as well so first we'll set system properties we'll provide here e driver dot chrome dot drive and here we'll provide the path of our driver where we have store our driver so path is this okay I'll provide here after that we have to create the driver instance right so for that first I'll create your public instance of web driver public web driver driver okay Let's create driver is equals to a new Chrome drive. Okay. Let's make this as a static so that we can access inside the main method. Now we have successfully created our driver instance. Second step is launch the flipkart, right? So we'll use driver dot get will provide URL here this is the URL okay now we'll maximize the page so that we can see the website properly driver dot manage dot windows dot maximize okay so till here we have successfully launched our flipkart right Third step is hover on electronics. Then we have to hover on these cameras and accessories. Here you can see. Let's go back. So we have to hover on this electronics. Then we have to hover on cameras and accessories. And then we have to click on DSLR and mirrorless. So first let's identify and inspect these elements. Okay. 
so we have to identify this electronics you can see we do have this pan tag and electronics as a text so we can use this to create our xpath span inside bracket i'll use text let's do you can see we got one unique elements that is electronics let's use this i'll save somewhere here first okay our second element is cameras and accessories let's inspect this here this is a link you can see here this is a text available and the tag is anchor tag so we form our xpath here using anchor tag anchor tag inside bracket here is text equals to You can see we got the this element unique element right let's use this I'll save here and now a third element is DSLR and memories inspect this you can see here we have this text this is also anchor tag so I'll just replace this text use this text you can see we got this element right copy this xpath now we got our three elements so first we'll implement the code write the code for this okay so here we have successfully launched our flip card right and our next step is our own electronics right so first we'll hover on that element but to hover on the element we need to use the actions class so actions class is used in selenium to perform keyboard and mouse actions so i'll create the instance of the actions class plus actions actions new actions and inside this we need to provide our driver instance okay now first we'll identify our element so driver dot find element by dot x path and we'll provide our x path here okay we store this inside web element To this element using actions class method so we'll use actions class method access dot move to element so we have this method and inside this we'll provide our web element after that we'll use perform method don't forget to use this method this is mandatory in actions class now we have successfully hover on the electronics option right now second our second step is our own cameras and accessories okay driver dot find element by dot x path we'll provide our x path here x path is this Same method here. Actions dot move to element. We'll provide our cam here. This element and we'll use perform method. Now our third step is click on DSLR and mirrorless, right? So we'll do that. Driver dot find element by dot xpath provide xpath here let's 
to wear it in pebblement dslr l equals to here we have to click on this element right we simply use click method dot click okay now we have successfully completed our fifth step as well now there is a sixth step that is the final step we have to do so let's move to the website first and we'll see what we have to do here okay so here we have to hover and we have to click on tslr right so here you can see there are multiple rows so this is first row this is second row this is third right and the question is we have to find out the images used in this first row only right so we have to create our x path and we need to find out how many images are used in this first row so let's inspect this okay and we'll go to the parent first this is a parent okay inside this you can see but we don't have any unique element and inside this we can use this element data id okay using this we can form the export so control f inside div first we'll use at the rate data hyphen id attribute you can see and we'll provide the value as you can see we got this first row here okay you can see here we got the first row and now inside this row we have to just find out the images and images are usually represented by image tag like img so simply will use img tag here so you can see we got three elements here first is this first is this camera image right if i go to second image you can see it is indicating the star just beside the 4.6 rating okay and third image is just is assured tag okay so there are three images so we'll use this x path so here first we'll create one list because we are identifying multiple elements here so list of web elements right i'll just use elements this is you driver dot find elements okay so there are two methods first one is to identify single element and second is to identify multiple elements point dot x path here will provide our x path okay this is x path now we got these three elements now we simply print that count image count is equals to elements dot okay now let's execute our code but before executing the code i'll just add some weights here so that we can see the execution slowly so this is not recommended just for this program i'm using this red dot sleep we use 200 2000 millisecond let's add the exception okay after that after each element we'll use this so that we can see before execution let's just close our driver instance driver ground quit okay so that we can see the results let's execute now our code i hope this should work browser is launched and ur is also opened successfully page is maximized 
hovered on electronics, hovered on cameras and accessories, and clicked on DSLR. You can see it will navigate it to next page as well. And now it will count the images. You can see we got the result as images count is equal to 3. So this is overall scenario guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe my channel and show your support. And if you have any doubts, then let me know in comment box. Thank you.